uh, this is my first video for the Nerdfighter collab channel. My name is Amanda Finlaw and my YouTube channel is Fandom Matters. So I'm joining you today for this discussion on imposter syndrome. And imposter syndrome is a topic that I am really fascinated by. I learned about it actually pretty recently back in March when I attended the Harry Potter Alliance's Granger Leadership Academy. And I went to a panel on that topic and learned that it's something that a lot of women experience in the workplace and just in regular life where basically we feel like we're not good enough for the things that we achieve, the compliments we receive, like good things that come to us in life, we feel like we're not deserving of them because we feel like we're imposters, that we're not good enough. And that is something, when I heard about it, I realized I really identified with and it's something that I experience a lot. It's something that happens to me at random throughout my days, like I'll be at work and maybe get a compliment from my boss and feel like, oh, but I didn't really do anything that great, or that wasn't very hard, or that took me five minutes, but that doesn't mean that I didn't do good work. And same thing, like, let's say I spend a lot of time on a project for something, like, that's valuable, and sometimes I just don't let myself recognize that. And sometimes I have to convince myself otherwise, I have to tell myself, no, you actually deserve that compliment, and that's how we fight back on imposter syndrome in the workplace and otherwise. And I think something that made my imposter syndrome a bit worse was the job that I had immediately after graduating college. It was a really bad experience in which everything I did was wrong. I was told one thing, did the one thing I was told to do, and then was yelled at and told that it was supposed to be an entirely other thing. So now I'm a little bit more reluctant to be proud of myself and my achievements, partially from that and partially from, you know, my own my own telling myself that it's not good enough. And like even when I was in college, like let's say I wrote a paper and got an A on it, but let's say it only took me five hours to write it and I feel like I just breezed through it and like maybe bullshitted part of it. Maybe I didn't feel like I deserved that A, but at the same time, like if there's a good quality argument in that paper, then yes I did. And that's, that's what we have to keep telling ourselves. When we experience these instances of imposter syndrome, we have to empower ourselves, which is sometimes a lot harder for some than others um, based on our levels of privilege and whatnot and just our confidence in general. But we have to fight back on the imposter syndrome and tell ourselves we deserve the compliments that we deserve where we've gotten in life so far because we're putting effort in and we're working hard.